We have an education committee and the committee was meeting. We were intended to be a strategic body that set future direction, things that normal steering committees do. Well, we were trying to ideate and come up with an idea that would connect the chapter with the business community and the academic community in a way that would give visibility and credibility to project management and the professional project management through some sort of activity. I came up with the thought, let's have a competition. The project is a, is a collegiate competition whereby project teams are competing to develop the best executable project plan. The plan has to be something that provides value to the business and can be executed. So they have been developing standard project management deliverables over the past three months and those deliverables have been judged. We're going to find out today whose plan won. First thing you have to have is participants and you have to have schools that are willing to engage in such a thing. And um, the other key thing that you have to have right off the bat is you have to have a, an idea of how you're going to judge and who's going to judge. You find the names of community leaders, CEOs, politicians, media people. Here's the reaction that we got when the panel was done. Wow, that's a strong panel. We chose five very high profile very senior level executives in our community. And by doing that part first, that actually set the stage for schools wanting to be involved, for companies wanting to be involved. That was a, just a key driver. It was the caliber of the judges that were involved in this competition. We originally wanted to see if we could get schools that had some kind of a project management program, even if it was a single class. We thought that students would be much more prepared coming into the competition. What we learned is that if that was a major criteria, we wouldn't have enough schools to continue. We opened it up to really any major, any concentration. The ones that did participate, um, they took on something that was very extraordinary. It wasn't built into their normal processes um, and took a chance on, on what this might do for their students. They have to be PMP certified, so that was criteria number one. And then secondly, we put out a request to all of our PMI chapter, and we probably had 25, 30 people say, I would like to do this. We have 50 mentors with the eight different teams, and in total, they've put in about 600 hours of volunteer time. We came up with a list of about 20 to 30 potential project ideas and one of the members of our education councils read an article in Inc. magazine about Fred Keller who's one of our judges and it was about his company becoming B Corp certified which is a benefit corporation which is the triple bottom line care about the planet care about your people care about your profitability his comment was perhaps we should have the project be how can a company become B Corp certified What project would you want a team to go and work on for you? What problem do you have to solve? What situation is difficult? What do you want to throw some talent at? And what would make sense if you got 20 project plans back related to this area where there's a critical issue or a problem that you don't know how to resolve it, what would make sense? We decided to chunk this competition into three phase gates. Students submitted deliverables in January, February, and March. It wasn't heavy front-loaded, it wasn't heavy back-loaded. We made sure that every step along the way, one of the requirements was that they had to submit a PowerPoint presentation. And we did that not just from a scoring mechanism, but so that they wouldn't arrive here today and only thought of that last week. So we built in as much as we could what I'll call contingencies and buffers to try to even out the workload. And so initially with the judges, they were getting this boatload of information that they were wading through trying to figure it out. So our second round, we just said, look, you guys are executives, we're gonna scrub it for you. And so we put the PMO panel together, 
we went through the detail work and then we gave them summaries which they could then reflect and look at the page numbers of the summaries and say, okay, it's this and this and this and this, like any executive would, and it narrowed the scope of what we were asking them to do, and really what we're asking them to do is what they do. We want executives to review this and say, would you fund this project? That's real life. Well, there's several things that I think the advantages that we have here for the students. We learned that they have learned how to collaborate as a team, so they went through those stages of forming, storming, and norming, which makes them available or now able to work together as a team. As I'm transitioning from graduating college to, to going to starting my professional career, it has provided me with, with job interviews, networking opportunities, um, and it's a really exciting process. I didn't know about project management before, so everything that we learned during the process was totally new. That, of course, gave us more opportunities for our future career development, so it's, it's amazing. Every single one of our local chapter stats have improved significantly. Attendance, contribution, um, engagement, volunteerism, you know, all the big measures of chapters uh, have all elevated. This competition is a tool that directly connects executive business leaders to the students. What a gift to have that direct connection, that direct link. Very rare do, and does anybody get feedback from presidents and vice presidents unless you're in that leadership circle. But to have that connection and that learning experience was very rare and I think of a very incredible value. As a chapter, we got the honor to facilitate that.